I'm sure the the stream doesn't want me to uh, watch me eat. Well, well, unless they're into that thing. We're still kind of in pre-show. Yeah, that's why I didn't. Uh, they're gonna the see word. me. Eat. I don't give a fuck. Mukbangs exist. That's true. Not that, uh, no, I'm not that interesting to just watch me eat. Okay. Here we go. Welcome, everybody, to Bears and Dragons. The uh, show where a bunch of studio ass bears sit around and play Dungeons and Dragons. We play Dungeons and Dragons! Thank you. So, previously, we we got a name. We, we did decide upon a name. What's that name? The Wayward Strange... Wayfaring Strangers? Wayfaring Strangers. Yeah, Wayfaring Strangers. That's what I saw when I was rewatching the VOD. Anyways, what happened last time besides getting a name? You got uh, magic swag. <laughs> some people got some, some magic, magic swag. Some boy. Got nothing. Uh, well, I guess they still got something. But the group got something too magical. Um, the most we important met with... part we yeah, met we... Chunky Boy. The, the thick boy. Thumber. Thimberchad, the uh, leader of the Keepers of the Flames. A group, uh, I, I guess a sect of Grecklesug, I would say, a sect of Organization? Yeah. Um, he charged us with helping out around town, and before we tell anything to the Keepers of the Flames, we're supposed to tell him first, and then tell them. Um, then we went and met the Stone Giants, um, over at Karen Gorm Tavern. Um, kind of, they thanked us and gave us a little bit of information on, um, some stuff going on and whatnot. And, um, in thanking us, they gave us the Stone Speaker Crystal. That'll help us out, hopefully, in some ways or another. And, yes, that lovely thing right there. Um, and we decided before stopping to talk, going to, um, Overlake Cold to talk to the police and give them account of our stuff, we stopped over at, um, Goldborn's yeah. Lair and kind of just, uh, let the group know what's going on, and um, the rest of our party know what's going on and whatnot, and kind of see what they're up to. Uh, we were tasked to find um, the Thieves Guild, Ghosts, something. And uh, we were given a location to go check um, West Cleft District. Looking for a person named Gartokra? Nope. Gartokra oh. is the, uh, you're, you're, you be a flight guy. You're looking for Droki. D-R-O-K-I. All right. Before we go into everything, uh, Leaf, I uh, because you we weren't here last last time, I didn't want to make any decisions for you. But did the keepers of the flame were offering to see if they had anything on hand that they could uh, provide to you to, in order to help with it, with this mission? Is there any sort of thing that you are looking to maybe either upgrade or something you don't have yet that you would like? Hmm. I don't know. 
I mean, for fun, it's fine. We've got a uh, Syra got a medical rapier. Uh, Kayla E got a new axe. Lasser got a new shield. Uh, Roderick, I don't think you get, you got anything. So, no. hey, nothing. That's fine. I, I want to offer. That. All right. I can suggest you something. What would you suggest? How about a moon sickle? What is that? A sickle? A moon sickle? Or moon sickle? Moon sickle. Moon sickle? What is it, that? It gives you a. Plus one bonus to your attack and damage rolls, which doesn't matter because you're not going to hit things with. But it gives you a plus one to your spell attack rolls and your saving DC. Well, that sounds cool. And, and, when you cast a healing spell, you can roll a d4 and add the d4 to the healing. So... I want that moonsicle thingy. Try to see if they have one. Let me take a look here. Do, that's, do. What my, that's what my druid had, and it was amazing. So like you would basically be asking them, hey, uh, do you have anything that... Any, like, sickles? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Something that yeah. might be magical? <laughs> Uh, go ahead and roll me a d20. Roll. Uh oh. Jane crossover. What was it? It was a 10. It was a 10. It was a 10. Uh, don't say I have anything for you, lady. Let me t let me take a look. Uh, you're in them druid types, right? Yes. Womp, 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 womp. Can't filter by... Yeah, sorry, uh, Letty. In this town, we don't really have many of druids coming th through, so we don't have much shredder. That would probably very much enhance anything for you. I apologize. Mm. Uh, no worries. Actually, Roderick... Uh, Roll me a d20. I I copy Tom. That's not right. Uh, you say uh, uh, one thing he might might need some of these healing potions, and he provides um, two healing potions, just regular healing potions. Me? Anyone, anyone want to hold on to these, or I'll hold them. I can heal myself. I'll hold them if you'd like. Sure. Put them in my little pouch. I have two potions of healing. Don't have many of those. The ingredients are kind of, uh, kind of few and far between here for, for making these. Uh, if you look at the healing potions, which... Some of you may already know that healing potions usually have a red hue to them. Uh, this one looks more like a burgundy. It's a much darker red. And it's very cloudy. Makes sense. Alright. So, finish it up with the uh, possible magic-y stuff. All due to luck. 
from the Keepers of the Flames. You're all back at the Goldborn Lair. Uh, Lassiter has uh, currently it looks like he's his nose isn't necessarily broken, but it looks like uh, there's a little bit of a bruise around it. What happened we to you? Are... <laughs> oh, uh, nothing. It's, it was just a little mistake. Uh, I'm so sorry. <clears throat> It'll be fine. We we should probably get to planning or do something. Well, we do need to go over to Overlake Hold still and talk to them. Oh, well, yep, that's right. You see a little uh, mushroom person run up to you as you, you enter into the tavern. Roderick! He comes jumping at you as if he's going to jump into his arms. Do you go to catch him? Yeah. All right. And as as you do, poof, he turns into this little monkey. What in upper plane hell is this? Do learn some things. Is he, kind of, he, he, he climbs up on, on your shoulders. That's cool. He comes down and jumps jumps down and jumps down and poof, he's back to his mic and form. That is a neat little trick, my friend. Yeah, I could do some other stuff, but I, I think I may have to sleep for a while. Alright. What? You don't have unlimited spell slots? Um well, I don't have spells. Well, I have spells, but that's not a spell. I just You don't have unlimited shape. wild shapes. I mean I just learned this. Seems a little busted in front of NPC. I mean he may have plot armor, but that's a little going far. <laughs> okay, so <clears throat> we should probably get going to the overlake hole to uh let uh, the soldier people know what what went down, right? Yeah. Okay. Mostly <clears throat> making sure I was uh, what's it called? Uh, caught up. But uh, okay, let's go. Oh, uh, nope, I can't drink. Because little Borgad will get mad at me. A little Borgad doesn't get mad at you for drinking. It's mad at you for getting drunk. There's a difference. He he has not like looked at you funny for drinking or anything like that. If you were drinking, your drinking is just going about his business. Oh, okay. Well, uh, I'll, I'll order a drink while we're here then. It's a little one, one, one L. Well, you do have a credit for another drink. Oh yeah, awesome. You have a uh, couple more left on your uh, credit. So you get, so you get in here. Hell. Hmm. How much did I give her? Uh, I think you gave her gold, and it was only like two silver. <laughs> Okay. Oh, yeah, because I didn't want to, like, split. You didn't want the change. <laughs> so she just put it as credit. So you've got seven more drinks. Do you get one for Rond? Oh, yeah. You sure. spilled the last one, so. I'll, I'll, I'll get one for anyone who wants one. That yeah. I know. I'll drink right now while we're about to go talk to some officers. Yeah, usually I would hold off, but uh, apparently I can't. I don't uh, suffer from such consequences. Toxicity. Toxicity. Uh, 
Uh, the little gold, <laughs> the little gold pseudo dragons is currently sitting on the table. They're on the bar, and after you say that, just kind of like rolls his eyes. I'm ignoring him. He hops up on your shoulder. Still ignoring him. <laughs> <laughs> no, no eye contact for the whole day. Just wraps himself around you, around your neck, comfortably, and just kind of relaxes while I down my drink. Yeah. All right, let's get going. All right, off you go. Unless anyone else wants to do anything, of course. Not here, come on. So you go to Overlay Cold. Uh, one of the guards is there. Is there he is? Finally. All right, come in here, and he leads you in. Oh crap! I'm sorry. Could could I had said something before we yeah. left? Sure. Um. Um, fuck. Damn, I had this all planned out. Better write, write this shit down. <laughs> uh, has anyone noticed, um, like extra footsteps or like someone following us? No. No, not to my knowledge. Okay, maybe it's just me. Let's get going. I mean, nobody tried to perceive anything like that. Oh, wait a minute. What's your perception? Your passive? Uh, 20. 20? Okay. You probably did, yeah. You're probably noticing, had noticed a couple times you that like your party would stop and you hear a couple extra steps. Okay. Still feel like it's just me. No one else noticed. So mm -hmm. keep going. By the way, the voice of this guard came from behind you. Is it finally or here? All right. Come on in, laddies and ladies and lassies, I should say. Last. Oh, well, there's only one lassie. There's only one lassie in this. Oh, it's one lass. All it, right. Time to kill lads there. Lads and lass. <laughs> and one lassie. And a lassie. <laughs> Ugh, whatever. All right. Make a new character. <laughs> They're gonna call him Lassie. <laughs> Rocks fall, he does. <laughs> uh, he says he takes you into to uh Yeah, you're taken to a dark office and you're met by an imposing female gray dwarf. She's fully armored and bears an insignia you have not seen on any other Duragar. She is flanked by two stone guards who uh, remained by the door. I am Captain Errol Blackskull, commander of the stone guard. He says, giving each of you a calculating look. Let me start by saying you are worth nothing here in Grekelstug. Most of those in my command would sell you off in a heartbeat as the cheapest manual labor. However, I have learned to make better use of adventurers like you. That, that's good to hear. Uh, she goes on to explain that her guards have been tracking the movements of a Darrow named Droki. That's interesting. Yeah, and despite his presence in the Dark Lake District, uh, the Darrow seems to manage to avoid capture as he somehow knows in advance where the Duragar patrols will be, whether they're invisible or otherwise. They know that the that Droki lives in the Westcliff District, 
uh, explains that uh, we could really only go there, that they could only go there in force. It sounds very familiar. Yeah, just because they're because if they start entering that area, there would be a chaotic uprising. Uh, she wants to know, wants you to follow Jerky and see what he what he does, where he goes, and report back. And if uh, you was... see an opportunity to seize him and bring him back for questioning, or kill him and bring back evidence of his act, or or kill him and bring back evidence of his activities. And where was uh, he last seen? Uh, we we see him all over the. Over the town, especially in the Dark Lake district. Who was Jerky again? The person that we're trying to um, locate in in regards to the Thieves Guild. Okay, that's what I thought. Cool beans. Uh, We think that uh, we have suspicions that Jerky is linked to a conspiracy involving the Council of Savants. And even elements uh, among the clan lairds. If we can uh, discover the compar- conspiracy, purge any of the corrupted, uh, you should help to get some favor in the eyes of the Deep King. Do we know who the Deep King is? Uh, anybody who wants to can call me a, a history check. <laughs> History. I mean, you did see on your map. I don't know history. That there's a place called Hold with the Deep King. Hole. Hold. Hold. <laughs> the Deep King's Hole. Oh. Uh, uh, uh. His Elden Ring. Uh. Uh, uh, Roderick, you probably would recognize the term Deep King from the map. And kind of take that he's probably the king of the deep, aka Cracklestoot. Uh, if you help out with this, I can help to arrange for you to get safe passage out of Cracklestoot. You do as my, I ask. Can we not just leave? I said safe passage. I see. <clears throat> cool. That that would be very helpful. Uh, where should we start? Yes. Yeah, so, do you have any possible leads for us? I see he's been there. lurking around the Dark Lake District. Which is. Right up here, next to the docks. Uh, I'm so sorry. I don't know how to erase that. Click on it with the um, pointer tool, and then just hit delete. The what tool? The, the pointer tool. tool. The arrow. The mouse hand. If you need to, you can drag a box over it to select it. Well, I would say start start around the docks. I mean, shady the shady types always seem to like to hang around that those places. All right. Well, since we may need to go a little bit further further south, you may need some help with that. And she uh, uh, waves to one of the guards who who brings out a little sat satchel or sack, I'd say, uh, and starts handing you each an insignia. These insignias will allow you to move as far south as Lud- uh, Ladiger's Furrow. 
without being accosted, accosted by the guards. Well, thank mm -hmm. you. All right, get out of here. So, do we want to go through the the district or the docks to look for this this man? Or yeah, we should start over there. Um, when... do we get a description of what he looks like? Let's see. Uh, you'll know him by uh, the satchel he has and the hat that he wears, which for some reason has some sort of weird tentacles hanging off of it. Here's a sketch. That's not a sketch. That That's more of a uh, picture. Portrait. Yeah. But okay. Thank you. Well, let's... Do we know anything about their race? About Durgar? Oh. No, I I thought he was a... Uh, oh, a Darrow? Like, yeah, like Bo Bobito's race. Yeah. You know as much as you know about Bo Bobito. Okay, so nothing. All right, well, let's get to investigating. Should we uh, go for, like, the stealthy approach or just, you know, grab them, find out what we need to know? Let's first find him and then assess a, plan a strategy after that point. So Good here's, thinking. Here's an odd question. Does the area seem, say, like, is it sort of orderly or kind of dangerous? In the Dark Lake District? Mm hmm Through there. The Dark Lake District um, it can be chaotic at times, especially near the Blade Bazaar. Uh, mm -hmm. Otherwise, it just seems like any other city. Except a lot more Dark Dwarves. Deep Dwarves. Dwarves, whatever you want to call it, Durgar. My question is: Is it, um, like usually full of people or whatever? Uh, there's a, it, there seems to be a time of day where it is, it, where there's a some heavy traffic, and then later on in the day, it gets a little bit lighter. You do know that it. It still can be pretty rowdy um, later in the day uh, when people are probably getting off shifts and they're looking to get a drink. And they probably, being dwarves or dwarf adjacent, they're a type of dwarf, they know how to drink. Uh, dwarf oh. God don't like regular dwarves, right? Not particularly. Is, you haven't really seen it, much of Eldith. Eldith, not Edith. <laughs> um, cool. I was gonna suggest that she hangs back. Um, is that would probably say, "Hey, we're right here. We're in your area." Well, well it seems like uh, all the not NPC uh, uh, party members are. Pretty much just hanging out at Gold Borns before until somebody can uh, find a way to get to their next destination or get out of here. Okay. 
So now we have a uh, uh, emblem of the dragon guy and a it, insignia of uh, I don't know the soldier people. Stone guard. Yeah. Stone guard. Correct. Yes. Okay. Well, if this is a, if it's a somewhat, you know, like there's not just fights breaking out everywhere. Um, I want to send Sova up into the air to do some aerial scouting. Did we get, like, any information on, like, where he usually hangs around or whatever? Dark Lake District. Just as just, um, yeah. I mean, inside of Dark Lake District. All over the place. Okay. Yeah, so I want to see if I can send her up there and kind of do some aerial scouting, see what she can see. Anything. Wow. That's not an owl. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> hoot hoot, bitch. All right, uh, give me a uh, perception check from Sova. Come on. Sixteen. Sixteen. Uh, where do you have her flying? Uh, let's see. I think she can be within a hundred feet of her. Yeah, so we can communicate telepathically within a hundred. So. Yeah, I like the idea of... It's not that much. I like the idea more of you can communicate... To them within a hundred feet, but they can go much further, and you still like be able to tell where they are. So they they don't have to stay within that range, but they can't communicate outside the that range. Well, I made the suggestion to I guess if I had to choose a spot, I would say around the docks and like this top part of the district. Because that's my guess of where he... Uh, looking around, uh, for what you're trying to look for, uh, Sofa doesn't really find anyone matching that description. Okay. Uh, it was worth a shot. I guess we'll have to do it the hard way. So, are there any particular buildings or shops of interest in, in the district? So, my idea is uh, to, like, pick a spot. Uh, maybe we uh, uh, split, but not, not like, uh, one party's over here and the other party's over here, but, like, one party's over here and the other one's over here. Um. You know, just to cover more ground. We don't know where he is. We only know what he looks like. So, you know. Gage says, Don't we know that he goes to the west cleft? That is true as well. 
We were given that he follows around the Dark Lake District and West Cleft District. Uh, is that a place yeah. on the map? Yep. Yeah, right here. It's on the west oh. side. Do, 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 do. <laughs> well, remember, too, we have our, our badges, some authority that we could probably interrogate the people around here. We should probably. But I'm afraid if wait. doing that's going to might tip him off, too. Yeah, we should keep the. Uh... Revealing that stuff and until it's like last resort. So what do y'all want to do? Like split in a parties or just stay in one spot? Well, I'm mostly asking Roger because I know everyone else would probably be okay with it. We have, what, six people? I'd be fine with splitting, but... Five. Oh, no, six. Gage. Sorry. We have a quote-unquote tank in each group, just in case something does happen. Have Haley in one group and Gage in the other. Is is Gage a tank? He's a fighter. He's a fighter. Okay. Sort of, kinda. The two closest tanks after Haley would be me or Gage. Okay, so <clears throat> Haley is in one group, Gage is another. How about uh uh who who else can heal? Uh, Leaf can, I assume. Leaf? I can only heal myself. Yeah, I know. You're you're more of the punchy, punchy guy. So. Leaf and, uh... So, I'm in, I'm in one group, Leaf. and Leaf's in the other group. So, Roderick, and then... Uh, Syrah split as well. Yeah, I mean, I think that's a pretty balanced three-person group for each link. Which group is which? Y'all choose. Um, uh, I'll go with... <sighs> hey... So we have... We have Team Haley and Team Gage, so. So Lassie would go with. They both. Haley. They both kind of like go to to the sides of wherever you're doing this. I'll go with Gage. So that means Sarah's with us, me and Holly, Haley. Holly. Yeah, and Leith will be with me. Okay. Do I want poor cat? She's your fam uh, there the person that's your familiar. Damn it! Was that acknowledgement? Actually, it, it might not be a bad idea to give the other group a uh, familiar just to stay in contact. Yeah, oh, yeah. but we're, aren't we splitting up? Once does Dark Lake District, one does West Cliff District. Yeah. So we might be but out of range. Don't you guys have well, a specific range that you can communicate? Yeah, but you can still send the one to the other. One familiar to the other. It might take a while to get back up, but at least we know something's happening to the other person, to the other group. Uh, like, uh, if if something happens, uh, we can send the, the opposite, uh, what's it called, familiar to the other group. Mm-hmm. That would be our way of saying, hey, come to us. Lasseter, you don't feel anything on your shoulders right now. (laughs) 
Where? Where? Perception check? Uh, no, your passive will be fine enough. Uh, you know, once you realize <laughs> that little Borcat is gone, uh, you see that he's uh, currently, like, perched on uh, the Gage's shoulder. Gage oh. is kind of, like, looking at him weird. Okay, well... <laughs> and and he just kind of looks and and just kind of like gives him a little uh, head head rubs. He's okay, already just kind of rubs his eyes. And, uh, so we'll take uh, uh wait, isn't me and Sarah in the same group? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Okay. Um, so Syra can send Sova over to the other group, and the last and uh, uh, Borkat is is with Gage right now. Yeah. Well, yeah. Sova will be with them. No, so oh, yeah, Sova with us. Yeah. Right. Yeah. All right. So there is a familiar uh, on each team. Yeah. Now. Yeah. The next question is, where is each group going? We'll take West. Uh, yeah. All right. Go Team Holly. So before we part, I'll kind of ruffle Silva's feathers and Make sure you take care of them. If any trouble happens, come and find me. So was staying with you. Oh, I thought she was going with the other group. No, we have no, Borcat. Uh, Borcat staying with the group. Okay, never mind. Because it's, it's, it it's Gage, Roderick, and, and Leaf who are staying in the Dark Light District. And, uh, and Holly, oh. Lasseter, and Syrah are going to uh, the West Cleft District. And Gage, Borcat's hanging good. out with, with Gage right now. Okay. I'll, well, never mind then. I'll look uh, Borkat in the eye and give him the, uh, I guess, emotion or whatever, pretty much telling him to behave. Uh, for some reason, you feel like he he gives you this this uh, impression as if he was like. Like sitting there straight up, uh, uh, sitting up straight, and, and with a little halo around his head. In sight. Sure. This little prick is its own person. It's he. You, you know, Borgad. Right. He's kind of a little bitch around you. He's not going to be around you. Okay. We'll be off. We'll stay around here. All right. Stay Thanks. safe, everyone. Y'all do too. Stay frosty. All right. So we've got. Oh. Engage. The dark like district. We've got Team Holly that is coming over to the West Coast. Mm-hmm. Alright, so let's start off with those who go over to the West Coast. So you make it up to some of the gates that are that lead to the southern uh, southern side, and there's a couple of Durgar blocking your path. I'm assuming you flash your badges. Yeah. Uh, they look kind of nonplussed <laughs> uh, at you and let you through. You head down and uh, look for uh, 
Well, one of the pathways that could lead down into the uh, Ledegar's Pharaoh. Uh, you, and make your way over to the west. Now, are you going to stand kind of... Because this is... So we got a bunch of stone bri bridges that cross over it. But this is like uh, about 100 feet down, I believe it is. That's nothing. So the person who can walk on walls and reduce fall damage. All right. <laughs> So each end of the rift has a steeply sloping floor carved with a set of stairs and a wide ramp for both pedestrians and, and wagons to, to go go down. So you're asking if we're all standing together or separately? So how are you going to be? Are you going to go into the west cleft or are you just watching the outside side? Because there is kind of a gate that goes towards it. Uh, I don't know. How, how do you think we should go about this? Um, we can either go to the uh, same place together or one of us can stay like on the bridge and watch out up here and the other two go in or wherever there it is. Since since I, I have Sova with me, I could send her up there to kind of keep watch up above. Oh, yeah, that's, that's right. She can be her little sentry up top. And you'll be able to since or whenever, so yeah. That's, as long as she's a hundred feet, hundred feet around me, we can still talk to each other. Let's do it. Sound good? Yeah. So we'll go down. Leave Silva. Mm -hmm. And she'll keep watch over the gate. So the great gates uh, appear to be openings uh, that the Fedegar's pharaoh uh, created in the walls of Grackelstug's cavern. They're blocked by massive structures of bars and scaffolding, each set with several gates. You see it near each of the gates are two Duragar soldiers. Are we going up to them? Well, our badges worked on the on the last pair of guards. Maybe it'll work here too. Yeah, we'll show our badges. Let us through official business. Proceed. They open one the the gate that you approach to. Thank you. That was stressful. <laughs> as you pass through the gates the stench of the air changes from acrid and metallic to fetid and re re repugnant repugnant excuse me the fires of industry replaced by squalor the homes at this part of Grackelstug are crudely carved from the rock and are just holes of the walls arranged in no apparent order the chatter in the air is unnerving, with hundreds of Darrow muttering, screaming at each other, and otherwise reveling in their insanity. Those who spot you look at you with a burn, burning hatred. I'll wave. <laughs> uh, can we tell, tell why they're looking at us like that? Well, one, we're outsiders. Probably we look a little higher class than they do. 
I could just see Sarah going in there and just be like, I am not amused. You know, especially Miss Miss Princey, Prissy prin Princess walking in there. Yeah. <laughs> you dared to enter their territory, Lassiter? They, they don't like you being here. Oh, well, they're going to have to deal with that. We'd, we'd best not uh, rile them up too much. Uh, be quick! I, be quick in our quick in our time here. We don't want to cause a a, a riot or of some sort. So you just like sauntering down the street, or what are you doing? Uh, we gotta keep our cool. Um, I wouldn't say sauntering, but I would say. We, just keeping a keeping a an eye over my shoulder, just kind of looking looking back, and making sure no one's following us. Doesn't look like they're trying to, you know, jump us in any way. So meanwhile, you know, we're keeping out. watch, just right drinking. outside, out in the open. Yep, right where uh, everybody can see you. Yeah, yep. maybe we should. Oh. Is that really what you want to do? Just walk around? Well, I mean, is there... I mean, we, how would you stealthily go through these places? Just, like, go through the alleyways? We could yeah, maybe go to shadows or or just, you know, try to... Basically, a stealth check. Uh, to basically not be noticeable, if anything. Yeah. But there, there's places... There's dark places, and you can sneak around through what would be considered like alley alleyways. This is kind of like a giant tent city, is except with there... a lot of cave, a lot of like cave wall or rock wall homes and such. Is there a spot where we could just uh, not make camp, but just stay at and have like a good view of the area well uh, you can only uh only a investigation check you're kind of looking for them specific but yeah, not that you see I mean there's plenty of places that you could like duck into or hide. Wow. Well, I wouldn't suppose Holly could um investigate as well. Or Haley. <laughs> That's crazy. That negative I believe one. we found out it's Holly. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Yeah, she uh she not that smart. I'm pretty sure I'll forget um how to pronounce her name again. So please don't be annoyed at me. Nope or not. <laughs> I will be annoyed. Great. <laughs> um Could we find a shop or I don't know, a tavern? A lot of dare around here. Not many of any other type of race. This is this is more populated of just uh, just one race than it is anywhere in Grack Gracklestug. Gr Gracklestug is very diverse. The West Clive District, not diverse at all. Cool. In other words, you stick out like a sore thumb. <laughs> All right, so uh, I don't really think we're going to be able to, like, uh, go unnoticed. So let's just keep a lookout. Okay, so we can try and s somewhat stealth our way, but... Yeah, let's let's give a shot at that. You want to stealth? Everybody rolled well, stealth. Oh, nice. Hmm. Uh, 
wants to settle to the stop. Stop. Oh my god. So you all Ooh. decide after seeing kind of like all these Daryl just kind of like watch you. Um, you guys kind of get into kind of an area where you're not really noticeable out of sight of of any Darrow and just kind of disappear. Can we hear them? What language is it? What language are they speaking? Like, if, I'm, I assume they're, we can hear them kind of talking and whispering to each other. Uh, what, what languages do you speak? I can understand anything if you give me 10 minutes. <laughs> what languages do you speak? <laughs> what Common, languages Elvish, do you speak? and Infernal. Okay. Uh, none of those. Blaster, how about you? Common <laughs> and, oh, um, guess, guess the second one. Draconic? No. Orc. Common and bad. Oh, orc. <laughs> Um, nope, and I believe Holly just knows common and maybe one other, but not Dwarvish. Primordial. Primordial, okay. So, you can't understand what they're saying, but you do kind of recognize the languages, just because you've been hearing it a lot. Uh, and that's Dwarvish and Undercommon. Laster picks up a uh, word or two. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> but Roger, you, but you haven't you haven't gotten enough down. So you, you've learned something from from Roderick. It, it seems like they're just going about their everyday lives. Uh, it's not really anything that you would deem important. I'll go around and ask everyone to just write down what they're saying, so I can. <laughs> Just read what they're saying. I'm just kidding. No, I'm not. Uh, okay, well, uh, keep a lookout. You look just out. kind of hunker down. Keep a lookout. Yep. All right. Um, uh, is, is, is Sova still in range? Can I tell? I would say you. this probably all happened like as soon as you entered. You're like, uh, okay, uh, where can we kind of get out of sight? <laughs> And just kind of hunker down to finding a place that you could could basically get a broad view of the area without necessarily being noticed. I suppose is the best way of doing it. Uh, you do see some stairs which kind of go up the, uh, a wall that you can kind of go up and so you can kind of look down in the area around the entrance to uh, the West Clef. Because we know because you know Droki has been seen in the Dark Lake, but it's also been seen coming here, so he probably runs back and forth. So, actually, Lasseter's idea of just kind of hunkering down and staying put for a little bit might not be that bad. If he comes back and forth, I mean, one of us, one of our groups should hopefully eventually. All right. And if we so, stay out of sight... All right, so let's go over to uh, Team Gage. Uh, um, what's your I'm idea? What's your... Um, kind of just gonna act normal, but while like, like act like we're shopping and stuff, but while keeping an eye out on the crowd and whatnot, listening in to things since I could speak uh, under common and. Dwarvish and all. Um, and just try to see if I can pick up any, any reference to Droki. Alright, Gage will, will kind of be near, like, he's standing nearby just kind of like against the wall or near, uh, near a stall while you kind of do your thing. He's not much of a 
social person necessarily. Uh, Leaf, what are you doing as part of this? You're in the Dark Lake District, in the basically the shopping district mostly. If you're talking, you're muted. No, he's not. I'm not muted in Discord. Oh. Leaf, what are you doing to, to help out with this investigation that in the Dark Lake, looking for jerky? Where'd you go? Go. He's probably pretending to do some shopping, looking at different bobbles. Guessing. <laughs> oh, there you are. There we can hear you now. Oh, we heard you. Hey, guys. So we're looking here uh, with Gage and Roderick uh, in the Dark Lake District. Um, <laughs> Looking for a Darren and uh, What are you doing to help out with this? Um, not sure. Uh, just... just maybe uh, hanging out around Roderick, kind of looking at the Different wares while keeping an eye out for the the Darrow. No, I'm not sure. You could always like turn into an animal or something and to wander around for a better view of things if you would like. You can do that. A couple I'm of months just around. <laughs> Okay, but hanging around 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 Rarek, looking at bubbles. Yeah, uh, I would like. I would like you all to roll me a perception check. And one from you, Leaf. Um, one moment. I'm trying to find it. Okay, did it do it? I'm not yep. sure if it... Oh, okay, there we go. Right. So, in the first hour of hanging out around the uh, Dark Lake District, uh, keeping an eye out for the Darrow, you don't really see anything. Uh, and uh, let's go back over to the West Cleft. Uh, but like our West, our Team Holly, throw me a perception check. Ew. Oh no. How about uh, Silva? Does she 
Yeah, go ahead and have Silva roll too. Oh, so I had yeah, roll, roll for, for Borcad. little Borcad. There we go. Oh, she, got, she got a 20. There we go. <laughs> Save us, Silva. <laughs> oh, that's for, okay. That's for Borcad. Okay, cool. Alright, so. Okay. So here's what happens. As your, um, As, Roderick, as you're 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 shopping, uh, you and kind of glancing around, you hear a little squeak coming from Gage's shoulders. As you see, little Borcat is looking in in a direction. You whip your head in that direction. You see see this arrow with a hat, which has these floppy tentacles coming off, a big old beard and a satchel. He's looking at something on his wrist. Uh, and then he goes, just kind of like leaps and starts running off. Uh, I start to follow, uh, but trying to keep far back enough so he hopefully doesn't um, notice me. Trying to get, and then also at the same time trying to get attention of Leaf and Gage, like pointing this way. So uh, Ga Gage, you, you'll have noticed that Gage had spotted because Orcad was yeah. with him. So then just kind of pursue. Yep. And uh, Lil Borg kind of flutters off and starts pursuing as well. Um, about you start chasing him through the streets. The streets. Uh, Borkad seems to have gotten a nice aerial view and seeing seeing him. And because he's this gold gold pseudo dragon you can easily kind of spot where he is and he's kind of leading you on as you're you're chasing after him you, you just see every time you turn a corner you just see like the back end of him move off in another direction and he's heading towards the west cleft district about 15 minutes later uh Syra, you he, you get uh, a feeling of alert from Sova. Sova, who flies over to to you while he's he's doing that, and you notice, based off of um, some certain feelings that you've been getting from him, you look directly at the gate gates, and you see sneaking through some of the bars this arrow with a big hat with. Two floppy tentacles, big beard, and a satchel. And so are we still stealth that he doesn't immediately see us? Uh, he does not notice you. So, Lassiter and Holly, I assume, are close enough that they can... I can kind of get their attention, both of them now. Mm-hmm. Uh, Lassiter, you uh, feel an emotion of alert coming from the other side of the gates uh, as you see a gold pseudo dragon fly through some of the bars. And uh, with your passive perception, you will notice that uh, Gage, Roderick, and Leaf are <laughs> huffing puffing. Well, maybe not so much Roderick. Uh, I was say, like, I, I'm keeping a good pace. <laughs> Uh, Roderick is just moving without breathing, uh, it, and they kind of flash up their insignias, and some guards just quickly open the gate as they see him brushing through. <laughs> uh, how far away is Jerky? Uh, Jerky has uh, started uh, rushing down down the street, and he's just turned a corner. Uh, little Borkad so, is following him. Does he seem like... 
Does he seem like he's aware that he's being followed? Um, give me, give me an insight check for both you and Little Borkhead. That's for moi. Uh, da, da. Insight is intelligence or wisdom? Is wisdom. Wisdom. And I don't know what to add to that. Nope, that's fine. Uh, if it doesn't list it as one of his skills, he's not proficient in it. Ah. So it's just a wisdom check in that case. All right. So little Borkat is just doing his duty, uh, which is we're supposed to be finding this thing. We're going to follow him. He seems to be at least. It doesn't seem like Droki knows that anybody specifically is following him, but it. Almost as if he thinks he's being followed at all times. Uh, he's like the Hulk. He's always suspicious. <laughs> he always thinks he's being followed. Okay. Right. So, so bunch, go ahead. It's a bunch of like buildings and stuff. Yeah, there's uh, rock buildings and caverns and. Uh, and, and makeshift uh, uh, places. <laughs> um, I'm going to go ahead and jump up on the closest building and start kind of like following from the rooftops. All right. There he goes. Try to, to be a little stealthy while yeah. you're doing it. Yeah, go ahead and roll me a stealth check. Doing his thing. Running on walls. Yeah. Um. Yeah, Roderick kind of disappears. Uh, you're not exactly sure where he is. Oh, Even Borcat in my like insight too, so I kind of can keep my bearings on where he's going and stuff. Maybe try to get a good ways, maybe above, like close to him and stuff, so I can or whatnot. How do you how do you lose track of a hulking man? Uh running on walls that's scary <laughs> yeah you better be scared remember <clears throat> and then I'll just try to kind of creep as he's going and stuff try to creep closer and closer to possibly get a good possible like above air tackle on him Oh, are are we just uh word capture? Uh, yeah, are we capturing him or are we following him to find stuff out about him? In oh. case we decide to, I can be right there. Okay. Um. So we never discussed that before we broke up. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I guess we'll just keep on following him. Not getting too close. Um, he seems to be mo moving at a pretty quick pace. So there's no way we can like really stealth this? I mean, you could. I mean, it seems like no one, for some reason, no one's really noticing Sova and, and uh, Little Borkad. Okay. Uh so yeah, we'll we'll stealth while try staying behind him. Alright, everybody roll me a stealth check. Yeah. Uh, okay. when you have a plus seven or something, you get a ten. Is it, oh, this right. is depressing. <laughs> That oh, was there you go. incorrect, oh, but yeah. in any case, we're fine. Gage is supposed to have disadvantage, not advantage. <laughs> but in any case, he rolled well. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Uh, yeah, that's pretty good. All right. Uh, Lassiter, seeing 
is he a little bork at in trying to follow him? You just haven't really paid attention. You almost you're about to to bump into a uh, uh, one of the just other Darrow that are in the area, uh, and uh, uh, Roderick. Uh, no, not Roderick, because you're in the walls. Uh, Holly will, uh, Holly kind of like grabs you and just kind of like moves you to the side. So you just kind of move out of the way. Uh, you almost stumble, but uh, she kind of keeps you going and keeps you up. Thank with you. her massive uh, water genasi strength. <laughs> By the way, it is genasi, not genasi. Yeah, je. Um, uh, for those people who watch high rollers, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, if you, if you want to know, you could go to D and D beyond, go to Genasi and there's a button there to listen to how it's pronounced. <laughs> it's Gen Nasi. Uh, moving on. <laughs> we digress. Look, as we're chasing after him, does it look like anyone's trying to help him escape, or he's just kind of on his own? Uh, he seems to be on his own. Uh, can I get uh, additional perception checks from both Sova and Little Borkad? Because they're the ones that are actually keeping up. They're flying. <laughs> <laughs> Silva being kind of very stealthy being an owl and little Borkad because he's he's just he's a little Borkad. Pretty Perception. roll. Yep. Yeah. Thirteen. Oh ho, ho. so Lassiter, you get this image in your head. Head or um uh, they, they oh, you see Droki moving along and he says something which in undercommon which from the lessons that you've had with Roderick was something like I'm late I'm late oh, that be important thing <laughs> uh -oh. and he seems kind of frantic um I'll I'll say to whomever's next to me or close to me while we're running, uh, he seems to be um, trying to get to like a, an appointment or something. He's late, apparently. It's always bad when that happens to them. Hey. Uh, not not that I'm planning on doing this. It's just a curiosity question. But killing your own familiar and having them come back, would that give you X EXP? No. Okay. Also, I think, I think Little Borkad would probably be... Uh, uh, really hard to hit. Yeah, I... I I, I think trying to kill a little bit Borkad would probably be extremely difficult. I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't actually do that. I was just looking at I his. Uh, <laughs> I was just looking at his stat block and realized that he had a uh, challenge level and XP, and I was just thinking, well, that all monsters can, do. Yeah, you can find it in the wild. Yeah, there are actual, actual pseudo dragons. <laughs> That are non familiar. No. Uh, no, no worries. After uh, a couple of minutes of bobbing and weaving through uh, some hovels, so hovels, uh, Sova and, and Little Borkad suddenly kind of go foo -foo 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 as they are almost, almost run into a wall. And they land, they perch on uh, a couple of ho hovels. And kind of wait. Like they got stopped because of a wall that they didn't see. They're waiting on us. Yeah. 
Okay. So as soon as I get there, I'll stop and wait for everyone. So I'm assuming I won't get there before others. Yeah, being that you're walking down the walls and and buildings. And I'm a fast I'm boy. Like dash mm. speed of unlimited. 150. <laughs> Step of the wind, right? Do you have that? Um, I can get step, step of the wind and dash. <laughs> yeah, I can get there. With, I got 180 feet per turn if I wanted. He's not. He's not going anywhere. He's just there. So he he's ducked into a into a house. So it might seem. So, you come to the location where Little Borkat is. Uh, Little Borkat and uh, Sova are. Are and uh, Sova and they kind of flutter flutter down and look at a uh, some cloth that is against the wall. Uh, there are some some gray sheets of canvas, some scraps of cloth, and some moldy box. I'll start does. moving stuff while waiting for people to get there to see what's there. Um, so it, it's easy enough when you uh, kind of look around. You see, there's kind of like a a place where a couple of the the uh, sheets of cloth. And are separated like they kind of cross over each other and you move them aside and you see this fissure in the wall it's big enough for you to enter tall and wide yeah. enough for a medium creature to squeeze through the first 10 feet and continues about another 50 feet at an average average 5 feet in width there seems to be a gentle downward slope. We love gentle downward slope. That is a vibe. Before we go down, do we hear anything? Uh, give me a perception check. Can I use my passive perception? Only if you were taking like ten minutes or so, or taking uh, taking your time looking for it. But yeah. for the media ones, um, but you you do notice that there's uh, like a wisp of some sort of eerie fog that comes out of it occasionally. <laughs> But uh, otherwise, you can't really hear anything. Just some dripping sounds. Hmm. Uh, so, what if... If Roderick were to walk on the wall down, he could stay walking on the wall. He wouldn't just flip down and fall, would he? He would have to crawl against the wall. Because it's not very wide. A little too tall to be be walking on the wall. Hey, how long would it's you It's more have... tall than it is wide. How long would you have said that we were waiting um, there? Probably in... about an hour. Could that have been a short rest? Sure. Fuck yeah. <laughs> um. <laughs> sure, whatever. Uh, I could cast invisibility on someone, and like they could like go down and you know take out what's going on. Last well, is probably the best person. Oh no no. Uh, I, I suck at stealth. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, not last. I mean, uh, Roger. Okay. I was about to say, like, oh, if you... <laughs> yeah, I don't know why I, 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 I get those two mixed up. I just didn't want to, uh, like, commit someone else 
to the I'm, mission. I'm fine with doing that. I can scout ahead. All right. Uh, we got our plan. Any objections? Roderick, you're invisible. Go, 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 go. And then I'll start to um, quickly but cautiously head down. And come come back to us if you've run into any danger. Don't face anything alone, please. Unless you know for a fact that you could just, I don't know, rip someone's head off. Can do that. <laughs> Refrain from eating anyone while you're there. Please. No guarantees. <laughs> Should kind of get like a little grin. Like, yeah, I know. <laughs> there would be a second. Like she, she says that, but like in a half joking way. Yeah. Every time I see your Minotaur, I just think of not from campaign to just, he's fucking hot. <laughs> it's gonna change her, change Cy 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 Cyrus' name to Fiona. Mrs. John Breaker. My map was kind of freaking out on me. I have to. This is a really large map, so it's giving me weird issues. Okay, that is definitely not right. Okay.
My map is broken. Okay. Phew. Okay, so it's a little off, but that's okay. We'll, we'll work with that. I'm gonna move you guys over here. So, Roderick, as you uh, come down the come down the path, you're invisible. Uh, you see what seems to be not as frantic of a drokey uh, further down the path, just kind of skipping along. In the meantime, you see a uh, glow of Fre Ferris Res casts an eerie soft light across this cavern, swirling into spiral patterns, casting dancing shadows from the jagged pillars lining the walls. The air smells and tastes slightly metallic, and the sound around you is strangely muted. The dripping of water makes no echo, as, you, as if you stood in open air. Does this seem familiar to me? Like we encountered this before. These tunnels? Or the Ferris Res? The Ferris Res. Isn't that the stuff that was making us mad before? Yep. Alright. All right. So what do you do? It's like you, uh, we, we fell asleep. And Jerky skips out of sight. I will then quickly. But again, stealth, uh, as stealthily as possible, try to follow him and like, try not to be in the area too much. 
so that I hopefully don't have too much of an effect from it. Since I know I can't physically do anything about it, because it's not like living. All right, make your move. All right, Turkey stands before a tall yet narrow crack in the wall. He stares at the crack for a moment, leans down, rummages among the fungi, cackling with glee as he plucks a short mushroom, eats it whole. As he finishes the last bite, you see him shrink down to a doll size and run through the crack. Alice. I know they're ripping off Alice in Wonderland. Um, I'll go up here and do the same. All right. Uh, give me an investigation check. All right. So you're able to easily find a similar mushroom. Pop it in my mouth and... Tastes kind of icky. And all of a sudden you shrink down to size. Hey, you could probably easily fit through that crack now. I'll fall. Alright, then I'll go into the crack. Alright, so. Oh, come on. Maybe if I select the right tool here. So are you able to tra travel through the crack? Just as you see a jerky coming to here. Did he seem the same size as me still, or did he get bigger? Uh, he, he got bigger. And then he kind of went into the, went around the corner. Do these mushrooms seem similar to these? Uh, you do see, well, you've been able to see two different types of mushrooms. There was the one that you ate that made you small, and there's another one that's a little bit bigger. Uh, logic would dictate this, hopefully this might make me bigger, so I'll take that. I'll pop, I'll take one and try to eat it. All right, you take one of the bigger one, and are you not on one of the bigger ones, and all of a sudden you return to normal size. Uh, you turn the corner here and you see a uh, um, but, 
Uh, dense fungi forest blocks your way. It's tallest specimens growing some five feet high. Even as you assess the best way to pass through, a hissing sound starts to rise. Like uncounted tiny voices whispering in tongues you don't understand. I'm going to hop on the wall and try to like walk like it over. And go through. It's the... Uh... Like, even if I'm walking, like, sideways. Like, on the, like, this side. Bridge ceiling height is 50 feet. So, you could easily probably get up higher. Start going this way. Does it look like he went a particular way? Uh, it's hard to tell. You don't see evidence of, like, any traipsing through the fungi forest or anything. Like, anything's been disturbed. I have to keep switching between tools here. It's all right. God damn it. Oh, I wanted to stay there. Okay. I'll start walking down, back down to, um, floor. Let's see, what can you see here? God damn it. Here we are. We got here and my Do I notice anything like any signs of movement, uh, recent activity? Uh you do hear a yep coming from the left tunnel. We must investigate. Yeah. Here's me a sec. Yep. Oh, and you're invisible too. Yeah. For one hour. Unless you attack something, or I lose concentration, for whatever reason. He punches the wall. Mm. Alright. Yeah, come on. We'll do... 
Wait a minute. There you go. Uh, as you enter this area, the glow of Ferris Red shifts across this this chamber, as if pushed by an unseen wind, it flows towards and around a large mesa and continues to spiral upward, but the ceiling of the cavern is too dark and high to see. You hear murmurs and whispers coming from the mesa, which grow louder as you approach. Stacked levels resemble steps to a staircase, and a ramp running from, from top to bottom provides an easy way up. You also see Droki. You see the tail end of Jerky as he moves out of sight. Gonna memorize this for later. Jesse, it's one of those that I need to eat a mushroom. Yep. I'll do the shrinkers. You Drag. shrink. Uh, come on, be hilarious. Oh. I see what way he went. Here. Let's see up to there. Technically. Uh, there's a door in the way at the end here. Well, he obviously went that way. Uh, as you're kind of looking left and right, trying to do everything, uh, figure out where he might have gone. Uh, the door opens. Well, pops a jerky, looks at his watch or wrist, and then starts running this way. Follow that trophy. Also, I need a uh, give me a stealth check with advantage. Not that I'm too worried about it. He rolled a 19. No, nope. He rolled an 11. <laughs> I think they rolled a 3 and they got an 11. Did you roll a nat 1 and a 3? Yep. Wow. Is that right? Wow. <laughs> the dice giveth and the dice taketh away. There is no god. Only dice. Only. Same death. So you saw Jerky. Okay, let me describe this room. Chamber splits into two paths surrounded by a large pool filled by water trickling from stalactites along the ceiling. The western path ramp forms a ramp above the pool's surface, while the eastern path runs level with the water and continues into a tunnel opening. The water uh, return, turns darker towards the center of the pool, where it transforms 
from a gentle swirl into a churning vortex. Did he jump into the vortex? No, he just followed the lower path. Oh. Oh, what? This way. Okay. This is the most complicated map I've seen playing D and D so far. I like it. I'm here for it. Uh, let me actually describe this. First thing you notice as you enter the room is a heavy, unpleasant musk in the air uh, coming from cages assembled, assembled from scrap iron on both sides of the chamber. A spiral path circles into the center of the room marked off by two stone pylons. Two darrows stand at a large cauldron in front of a tent near... This is not the right ten. I, I was about to say, um... That does not describe this area whatsoever. Why has my ten moved? <sighs> Where is that supposed to be? Hold on, let me, let me double check something. Because the last one I looked at was correct. <laughs> I'm going to use another reference. That's supposed to be... Oh! Oh! Hold on. Holding. My map is weird. That is correct. There's a sub map if I can find it. I think this map is broken. The earth is moving. Where is it? This on another map. <laughs> oh. Well shit. Okay. Now I'm understanding this. Uh oh. So the original map was correct. I need to fix my thing. Mm. There you go. So this is the area that you're in. Yeah, my map was actually the map is actually was was the original size that it was supposed to be and I broke it. <laughs> so
So you've been traveling for quite a while. Uh, your friends don't know really what's been going on. Uh, has it been an hour? Um, I would say it's probably a half an hour, just because um, both of our friends here. What are we all doing? So the first thing you notice at the, the room is, yeah, so this is exactly what it is. Two Nero's staying at a large cauldron in front of a tent near the cave's center. Both are talking while apparently ignoring each other in the ca in the cages. Three hulking brown bears appear to be resting. Roger. Sorry, I forgot to mute myself. I uh, can't understand what the uh, Daros are saying. Uh, Dero. Daros. As you said, there's two. Uh, not much is really going on. One of them is complaining about the master, while the others talk about something he once fished out of the Dark Lake. So, seeing all this, I was like, okay, it's time to go back to the group and stuff. So gonna I can't control the my token odd now you should be able to control your token <laughs> so I'll come back over here okay so here are they speaking in under common or uh, they're speaking in Dorish Dorish so actually, the weirdness of this this whole thing is these squares are definitely not five feet. <laughs> One square is twenty five feet. That explains it. Um, Hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna change some things. Uh, well, what I'm gonna do before yeah. I leave, just Wait, for the two. fun of it, um, I'm gonna summon like right out, as I'm around the corner. I'm going to summon my vested. Of my astral self and whisper into one of the um Darrow's ears in Dwarvish. Your okay. mother smells. And then head off. <laughs> Your mother smells. I I just trying to insult, like, make it seem like the other one was insulting them and cause a kerfuffle. Uh, I'm making it. Make an insight check? No, he's going to make an insight check. He's like, Here's something? Sounds like somebody said his mother, my mother smells. And then I'll head back to the group. There we are. And then once I get back. Exposition. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. How let many? Me, let me kind of like. This. All right, Samara. <laughs> Samara. <laughs> All right, so I I just explore mode and so now that I realize now that I realize that this part of the map yeah is actually this big. 
Everything's really tiny. Thing, just in case. Uh, I, I I put everything back and uh, ran you through backwards through what you saw so that the explorer mode could clear things up for you. <laughs> Uh, how many, uh, mushrooms were they? Like, could we each, uh, take them if need be? There was a vast quantity, right? Uh, there were, near the cracks, there were a few. Um, you didn't really count because it was just you. And there was at least one of each. Um, it, you also had the big old fungal forest, which might have plenty of these, like, shrinking and beginning uh, uh, mushrooms. Good to know. Should we go? I say yes. Yeah, let's go. Um, everyone ready? Oh, uh, is Leaf awake yet? Yeah. I think we lost Leaf. Oh, poor Leaf. Yeah. Um, well, let's go. Yeah, well, stealth? Stealth. Alright. Alright. Let me get you all on this map. Make sure you all have your dark vision as you should have. Because for some reason, they're not. 120 feet. Dwarf. Oh. Uh, thing is huge. So I just see a big, big black block in the... That's no, because I haven't pull, pulled you on. Where are you, Sarah? There you are. I don't know. It's so dark. I see. Holy crap. Yeah. Uh, I'm assuming somebody's going to uh, cast light for Holly. Yeah, I will. All right. What was it? Uh, 15 bright, 30 dim? 20 and 20. 20, 20, 20. 20. Thank you. Age. <laughs> uh, oh, Age doesn't have dark vision either. So he'll stay, stay close to Holly. Uh, and am I missing somebody? Last three. We have two people who can cast light, I believe. Individual lights. Oh. So far away. Oh, okay. There you are, in really large caverns. Like a freaking certain, certain areas have smaller have smaller maps. <laughs> so, I never realized that. I'll lead the way. All right, Hello. lead the way. Show us the way. I know the way. Hey. Well, you lost a rookie, so. To a point. I know the way. Uh, 
don't. I can't. Yay! Oh no. He's rolling. Hold on, do I have a macro for this? I won't. Did this hit in? We see him rolling. Save. <laughs> Worry. Stop. <laughs> Trying to catch us riding dirty. <laughs> catch us riding dirty. Gonna catch us riding dirty. We're in the tunnel. Still. Yes. Did you, like, I don't know, uh, Rome? Rome? No. Okay. I followed the man. Everyone eat one of these mushrooms, and I'll point out the one to eat. Yeah, so you see, you see some of these these little ones and some of the bigger ones. So you can tell essentially that these type of mushrooms seem to collate around these little. Um, you want these other ones to get bigger. I will uh, see if I can sneak a few of each in my bag. Let me take a look at some. So, there's a total of uh, 13 pygmy warts and the smaller ones and 13 or larger ones total in this location. So we need six of each, right? Yep. <laughs> you just pick all of them. <laughs> no. Screw the whole system. Uh, you said... There's 13 of each of them? Yes. There's 13 of the small ones, 13 of the larger ones. Okay. I mean, they're not huge. Some that are like this big, and some that are like this big. Yeah. While while I'm getting my little one, I want to try to sneak uh, like two... With three, if I can. Um, I mean, it doesn't really matter if anyone sees me, but... I mean, if like, you want to just grab some extras. Yes, but I don't want people to know that I'm Okay, grabbing. so they're all sleight of hand. So you don't care about the result. Totally obvious, but it. yeah. I don't yeah, you, you, you pretend to like, kind of look around and... Boop, boop, boop. You snag a couple more. I will consume. We will consume. We consume. You consume. And you guys travel Not through much. to the other side. Not much. It's just a really... By eating this, these shrooms, um, you're easy, able to easily squeeze through a place that you wouldn't normally be able to squeeze through. Oh, did you tell us about the uh, the mushrooms, the maddening mushrooms or whatever they were called? I the fungi? everything. So we should probably stay away from that stuff, right? Yeah. Ooh, water. Uh, the whoa. mushroom forest, I was like, you could hear whispers. Yeah. Of, uh, Tongue, like they're whispering something from a tongue that you don't understand. Can I hear? Can I refill my water skin while we're in here? Yeah, sure. Fruit. Okay. We gotta make sure we have water. 
I like the minute he has your great water spell. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that speed? Uh, big mushrooms. Where did... Oh, there. Boop. All right, as you as you each grab one of the bigger shrooms and, and eat it, you guys go back to your normal size. You really just shrink a size category, so you go from a medium creature to a small creature. So it, it, it doesn't, like, shrink you really, really tiny. Here. Does it feel weird? Uh, it, it's a little bit of a whiplash because it does it so quickly. But not anything that it's just eh, well, a little disoriented. Oh no! But it's it's just as if somebody cast the uh, large reduce spell. Oh, uh, since I I'm actually noticing it now. Uh, why why didn't we just go through this path, Roderick? Why why did we have to go through uh? Uh, eating the mushrooms, we could have oh. just we could fit through here. Yeah, but there's this. Oh, that's water, isn't it? Yeah, it's just a water puddle. Maybe it's a little stream and a pooled up in the area. Oh, okay. Well, uh, let me take a look at that. Like specific descriptors, but I think it's just like a stream. Yeah, nothing. Yeah, nothing about it being deep or anything. So, yeah, you could have easily walked through there. Or did the river. I mean, I lost all the rocks. No, it's more of ported. I'm just going the way that I came the first time, all right? So you, you know the way, by all means. Um, my stats, the, the, uh, the numbers in my red, green, and blue circle is 14, 41, 14. Nice. Just thought that was funny. Uh, you gazol. Well, you put them in there. Yes, I did. <laughs> Either way. Would I, would I have known that these two areas connect? Well, you probably deduce that. You're like, hey, this kind of seems familiar. Come on, by my nose. Are we lost? Nope. Are you sure? It would really suck if we were lost. I smack him. <laughs> Quiet. There's a, like a little tear that comes down. Mm 
not have the phone map. Just assume Lee's been engaged with you. Uh, yeah. Hold on. Hold. Second. Yeah. No, oh, okay. I'm trying to give like a bit of break in between each movement in case something happens. Never stop by a pool of water. Never stop. You gotta keep going. Always going. You gotta keep going. Never stop. Are you done, Win? I feel like you're looking into my soul. <laughs> I just got confused about something. Okay. Um, I would definitely say, Roderick, that when you had entered this chamber, you were invisible. But when you saw Droki, he was kind of sneaking along the path down this way. Would I have noticed anything when I was coming through? Um, no. Everyone, just take this bit a little carefully, all right? All right, Amber, make me a spell check. Dirty huh. 20. Cool, I'm not the only one. <laughs> Holly. Sorry. I was just realizing I was being dumb. Mm. You're not dumb. You're just oof. Oof. No, I was being, wah, I was being dumb. I was thinking my initiative role was my proficiency bonus so i'm like my ma my why is it why why is my um self like it not at plus 10 because my fishy is five and dex is five roll initiative one never want to hear it hear it hear it let me do math. Okay, cool. All right, so Holly uh, it kind of trips on his own, but uh, 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 Roderick kind of catches her. Uh, Gage is just kind of noisy. Uh, and Lasseter kind of got, gets a little close to the water and almost falls in. Uh, but is, uh, caught by Syra. Uh, damn it, fucking Gage. Glassy. Uh, Lasseter? Uh, as you're near the kind of near the water, 
and you you almost fall in. You look down into it, and you see something in the water. But fortunately, you don't think it noticed us. Notice you all. Okay, I, I I back up, panically but quietly say, "Shit! Shit! Shit! Shit!" Was there something there? Uh, uh, yeah, uh, crap. Did you say there was something big down there? There was definitely something in the water. You couldn't quite tell what it was, but there was something weird about the water. There's something in the water. I don't know what it is. It's just... It's all coming from inside the house. <laughs> <laughs> Well, let's not go near the water. Exactly. Let's stay on our way then. Oh, yes. Yeah, so there. this goes underneath. That oh, goes over here. I think the DM is rolling something or just nothing. I don't know. Nothing happens. Okay. Yeah. You, you do see a couple of the tiny crevices as you come up here. Or the small crevices because you would just have to be a small creature in order to get to them. Into them. Oh, uh, I, I have, I have, I just so happen to have more, um, little tiny mushrooms. Um, if... let's, let's focus on the task at hand. All right. Okay. I, I was just making sure that we, we didn't need to go in one of those or whatever. No, he okay. went this way. Oh, okay. My bad. Let's go. These are some long caves. Sure you know the way. Alright. You gonna enter there? Now, when we get in here, be real quiet. There are some bears and some darrows, like, arguing. Oh my. Wow. Okay. <laughs> All I saw was bear. Same. <laughs> what we get for being zoomed in 210%. Right. Be quiet. When we go, we, we can go through here. I, I, he went through this area, but there are bears and some darrows. So we gotta be cautious. Alright. So I'll just give you like a, a nod. All right. I like to go into stealth. All right, roll me a stealth check. <laughs> God, I that was almost an eighteen. Intruders. Uh, so the uh, cave bears uh, seem to make a uh, noise as you enter the room. And, uh, the Darrow's kind of look at them and then look where they're looking and they look at straight at the door where everybody is. 
Hi. What's so, up? Uh, let's see. Don't worry, Roger. The plan is working. Uh, and the initiative, folks. Yeah. And we're at 1043. Please just roll initiative and then call it. Yeah. Let's get everybody on initiative. Baptize in the river. These guys. Oh my god. Oh shit. We... Oh, way too many things on here. Hold on. Let me I'm gonna reset this. Uh I'm gonna remove all <laughs> from everything. We'll just add. Add turns and you can put in the uh, number. Or we can re-roll and they should just... Nope. No? Okay. <laughs> and re-roll. Yep. Ira. Oh, there you yeah. go. Oops. There's one. I have two in there. there. And am I missing anybody? Just Gage, Gage. Gage and Leaf. 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 And Ed isn't. Does anyone else have a last name? Or I do. Or name or whatever. Do we know it? Or have you just kept it a secret? I said it when we met the dragon. I do not recall. When when uh, he was asking about all of us what we're doing, I told what's him. uh Holly's deck score? Two. Uh what's his, what's her score? 14. 14? Okay, so Gage goes first. Because Gage also has a 2. <laughs> Alright. So, when we return uh, next week, uh, we'll start off with the battle against a couple of Darrow and a Cape Bear. I'm sure you'll see. Everything will be fine. I'm sure. Yeah, hopefully. All right, everybody. Have a great night. We will see you next week. Thursday yet? Boo. Have a good night, everyone. Night.